Okay, so cubed some zucchini and then we have corn in there and I just like lightly sauteed it with black pepper. Um, I have this tomatillo avocado salsa that I picked up from Costco that I want to put on everything. So I will share that with you. Okay, good morning. So, today's Sunday. I did nothing yesterday, um, which was kind of nice. Uh, and I'm so sorry, okay, for a last week when I was like literally could not stop talking about my face, but it was like driving me insane. A, B, it was kind of like a reprieve from complaining about work, right? Even, and I think maybe it was more, no, it was equal. Um, I probably got home around like between 8 and 10, like every day last week. <laughs> um, and the skin thing was not helping. It was like one of those weeks where like, you know, you don't know what's going on. Like my house is usually pretty together. And I had dishes in my sink. I had containers in my sink, pots and pans in my sink. I was like, where are my clothes? Like, are they, did I wash them? And where are the washed ones? Are they in the laundry still? Did I put them away? Like I was like, or that place where like you put your um, stuff when you come home from work. Like that was just like, whoa, there's like 17 pairs of sunglasses. It was just like, yeah, back to the skin. Um, it's like 95% gone. I can still feel a little bit of like roughness here. Um, so I just did what the internet told me to do, which was essentially just, I exfoliated like twice a day with a physical exfoliant. And I don't know if it's just whatever was wrong with my face was going away over time or if it was the exfoliating that helped. I don't know, but it's never happening again and I am going to be so into exfoliating now. Hopefully I will keep it in check. Now the skin is like so nice. Like so I was watching Orange is the New Black. Guys, this season is so good. Um, I don't even know. I haven't finished it yet, but this season. So, so good, right? We all agree. I think it's such a good season. Okay. So, like I said, I didn't really want to buy any groceries this week. I have this butter, or whatever, the closest real butter taste. I never really use butter, but then when I need butter for like one or two things, I never have it. So, I always end up getting this. Um, I've been buying this since like for over 10 years. Oikos, two strawberry, two raspberry, and orange cream. The s'mores. English muffins? Guys, I've been seeing these like everywhere and every time I go to a store that has these, they don't have this flavor. I'm kind of excited. This was in the same um, container as some like, I guess those things just has, it has a little bit of condensation. I'm totally going to have one now. I'm excited. Baked Cheetos. Bananas. Also, I was at TJ Maxx and I saw these. I've never had Kind Bars before. Let me know what ones you guys like because I opened them one up to have when I got in the car because I was like starving. Um, because I didn't eat anything after going to the gym and I was like, I can't do that. So let me know what ones you guys like because I really liked these. I also found this at TJ Maxx, coffee bean granola bark. I mean, it looks pretty good. It was $5. It better be good. Okay, so I have this plant in this thing, which I just had at home. So I just put it in this, but I got something else today to switch it out so let's see if it looks good okay so this is the new one i don't know if it's a huge improvement i mean i guess it is a little bit so this is like a kitchen utensil holder like for cooking cooking utensil holder i mean you know this is not really my forte i think it'd be really great if i could learn how to do this properly but for now this is what we're doing Okay, <clears throat> Ooh. smart. Okay, Monday morning, Ugh. it is very hot. Um, I had the AC on last night, but like when I turn the AC on, then I start sneezing and then I have a stuffy nose and then I can't fall asleep, so then we turn it back off. Then, you know, you're getting ready in the morning and then it gets very hot. Okay, what can I share with you? Um, what lip gloss do we have today? I know there's a gloss that I've been using a little bit. Where is it? Number seven, High Shine Lip Gloss in Naturally Nude. This is so nice. And then the lipstick in Something Latte. Spicy Latte, Spice Latte, that one is so good. Okay, that I wanted to share with you. Also, the S'mores English Muffins, so good. 
when you put them in the toaster, your whole house starts smelling like marshmallows. So good. Mm. Why did she? Oh, all right. This is just. This is why we don't look bomb. Okay. Finished oranges, the new black last night. Such a good season. Like, just to reiterate. Shit. I have to turn back. Oh. Why do I like this? I forgot to bring my lunch. Oh my god, okay. Oh, why? Today is not proving to be working out well. Okay. When I came in here, I put my English muffin over here and my elbow went into it. I know, so attractive. Okay. Um, I wish I you my keys before. Hello Kitty. Another Hello Kitty. <laughs> okay. Strawberry Oikos. Chunky guacamole from Aldi. And then my corn and zucchini concoction. Um, guys, I got a mini fridge for my office. Go to Costco this month. If you know someone with a membership, you have a membership. They have a $100, it's like $99, $100. Mini fridge, 3.4 cubic feet. Such a good price. Like if you are familiar with <sighs> um, the price of mini fridges then oh my god failing at life right now okay why 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 can't we just do this normal okay i live in a cul-de-sac so it's like don't worry um <sighs> okay good morning so when was the last time i even sat here also there are people mowing lawns people edging their lawns not people like the people that are hired to do it in this community are doing it but i it's like every day um we might not even, I'm gonna film this, but we might not even be able to use this footage. So, okay, let's get into this. Now, skincare. I use the Vitacrem B12. I just, you know, we've talked about this. It's just so good, right? Like, it's so good. Now this, oh my God. Okay, this is by Cosmetics. It is their Optic Crystal Liquid Crystal Eye Serum. This is holy grail status. I don't know if I ever said that about something, any kind of skincare. It's life-changing, also, have not said that about any product, I don't think. <sighs> okay, let's get into this, so. Do you see this beautiful holographicness? I want to squeeze some out, but I, there we go. But I'm not going to. The obsession with this is unreal. So real, I don't know. Which end of the spectrum do we want to go to? You need a tiny drop and you tap it under the eye. You cannot move this along your under eye the way you would say a cream. This is a serum and the texture is, I don't, I don't want to say thick. It feels thick initially, but once it hits your skin and there's warmth, you just tap it in. And I tap it in all the way under here, up on the brow bone and then on the inner corner. My under eyes have never looked this amazing, ever. And then when you put concealer on top of it, even so beautiful. And then of course the trick is like the inner corner, right? Once you start powdering your under eye and you get to see what it looks like on the inner corner, it looks amazing, amazing. And I was reading reviews about it and of course everyone loves it. And then some reviews were like, oh, and I use it on the lips. And I'm like, I am not putting this on the lips. I use a lot of eye creams on my lips. I've never found something that's been like amazing. But the other reason is this is 90 bucks or 95 bucks. I will list it below. It's very expensive. So I was like, I'm already using this on my eyes. And even though this was sent to me, I'm still treating it like I paid for it times two because it's so good and I don't want to run out of it. The under eyes, phenomenal. I used it on my lips last night. Like shut the front door, like it is Lock me in a room with this. I don't know. It is. My lips were so awesome this morning. So awesome. I don't know if you're going to see me use anything else for a really long time. It's so good. I. Wow. 
I am so interested in trying other products from them. Now, because what Hagen has this holographicness, okay, I'm gonna show you just a teeny tiny bit. When you look in the tube, it's got this like purple, pink, blue, orange, sunset-y thing, right? But when you apply it initially, okay. Okay, so there it is on the skin. It goes a little green. I know, this is such a, <laughs> you can barely see it, but I'm like, I'm not wasting this product. Right, so when I initially get it on my skin, it goes a little neon greenish. Um, I don't know if it does that for everyone's skin, but like, it just cancels out any kind of like whatever weird undertone you don't like if you have dark circles if you have like okay i don't have puffy eyes so i can't tell you anything about that but as far as dark circles go discoloration fine lines this is amazing and i've been using it for a week and it says to use it um morning and night a lot of people have been only using it at night because you know expensive but i've been using it morning and night i mean i i want to test out a product and i want to test it out the way they suggest it's just so good. I can't recommend this hard enough. It's just so amazing. And like, I, yeah, back to the original thought I was trying to have before I shared, you know, the little demo. I wanna see what else they have. I was reading about their skincare. I was reading about their ingredients and everything is just so good. There's some moisturizers I'm looking into because I'm always looking for like that perfect like moisturizer, you know, like this Vitacrem B12. It's just a straight up moisturizer. It's not like doing this or that or the other. Out of all the skincare I've tried, you guys know I'm super into skincare. There are certain ingredients that I've loved. I love retinol. I've been using it for about eight years ish on and off different products. I love glycolic acid. That's been about two years on and off. But this is like the product. I don't even. Should I? Here's the box. Let me see if I can. So the active ingredient in here is a copper complex, which encourages the appearance of firmer, younger looking skin. Absolutely. I almost wanted to swear just now. It has spin trap and alpha lipoic acid. It fights harmful free radicals. That I also don't know about. Uh, coconut extract provides deep lasting hydration. Oh my, okay, you forgot to say that. The amount of hydration that you get from that teeny tiny, tiny, tiny bit. When you first put it on, the first time I put it on, I put it on and I was just like, okay, yeah, it looks great, feels great. But after it settles into your skin, give it about three minutes, five minutes, your under eye feels ridiculously amazingly but perfectly hydrated. It's not like greasy. It's not like you're going to put a concealer on and it's going to crease. It is perfection. I don't know if anything's going to top this anytime soon. I try so much skincare and I'm a harsh critic. It's so good. I'm sorry. I hope we talked about this for a long time, but that's how I feel about this. Okay. I use the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer today. We use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I've been really liking this. This is in the shade Golden Beige. I would say this is like an NC30, NC27, NC30. Um, I've been, I just filled an uh, empty cushion with it and have been using it with a beauty blender because whenever something is like satin matte or matte, I prefer to put it in a cushion because I like things to be more lightweight. I like going for half to one layer of foundation generally. So anything that is matte, I think always has the higher, has a higher chance of caking up on you or looking like foundation. So I like putting it into a compact. We set the T-zone with the La Prairie. Um, this is in translucent too. On the face, we use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Ginger. Before this though, I use the YSL Touche Claw. This is in, I think it's apricot. But I have been, <laughs> I woke up at like 5.30 this morning. Why, I don't know. I also didn't go to bed till 12.30, so it's like I'm getting no sleep. Also, oh my God, I know this is such a tangent, but like, I've just work is just, I got home at like what, 10.30 one day? And I was so sad that day, not sad, but like disappointed because Andrew was gonna open his like birthday present. Like we were gonna FaceTime. But then also we were gonna vlog it, but I had to work and it was just sad. I was like, you can just open it like by yourself, I guess. Anyway, so I've been using this. I have this on the inner corners a little bit here and then around the mouth because I don't know, when you get tired, it's like everything just kind of like dulls itself. Your skin becomes so much more dull. For the under eye concealer, I have been using this for about a week. This is the By Terry Touche Velouté. I think that's how you pronounce it. I have in the shade, three beige this is a very 
I would say sheer to medium coverage, depending on what you need. If you use a corrector, you can definitely, it's definitely absolutely medium. So I have it on the under eyes. You can see it's a very natural, natural finish. I do love the applicator. Uh, I know some people don't like these kind of brush things, but I like it because it distributes the product. When you have something in a wand, I've noticed any kind of wand that you use or any kind of squeezy tube, you always get more product than you need every single time. Something like this, you do a click and then you just put it in one spot and then you start using whatever product came out in that one like, like distribution pump and you can just like spread it and you can evenly get a really an even amount of coverage and an even amount of concealer so that it doesn't cake up or get like extra because it's so easy to ruin a really great concealer by applying too much and whenever you watch videos of people applying concealer I'm, I always sit there and I'm like that is I don't think I've ever watched a video where I was like oh that's like a really good amount of concealer I always think that's way too much concealer so I love the packaging it's like this like pale gold clicky pen bougie bougie it's so gorgeous when I had first opened the package I was like this is so pretty and then I started applying it and it does have the scent it's not quite as strong as some of the other products maybe because I'm applying less product like when I use their foundations I always feel like I can smell it a lot but the smell always dissipates once you apply it once you're done blending it out you don't smell it anymore at least I don't so this is for people who don't have too much to cover up you want it to look really natural i.e. you know maybe you use a corrector and then you apply this underneath it looks really good also I am a slightly too dark for this right now to use as foundation, but I'm absolutely, when I use it as foundation, I will share it with you guys because the formula is so smooth and like not liquidy, just really, really smooth. So I want to put it on my skin because I feel like this is something I would absolutely love as foundation. Maybe if I lose my tan in, a, in the next week or so, we'll try this again as foundation. I then use the Graftobian highlight contour light palette ever since doing that demo for you guys like i don't know was that like a month ago i use this all the time you can see how like well loved it is like it's all the time all the time so today i use this to contour the cheeks and under the chin i use wait this shade under the brows and i use this shade down the center of my nose so i don't have any highlight there i just love this it's just so good Something like this just like really takes your makeup to like that next level where it just looks much more put together, more, it just amplifies, it's like an amplifier. Um, it also helps with making you not feel fat. <laughs> this is the Sisley Fido Touche Gel Bronzer, Sun Glow Bronzing Gel Powder. I have this on today all over. It is incredibly bronzy. When you look at it in the pan, it looks like it'd be really orange, but I feel like it just makes your skin look really healthy like I think I look very very bronze the forehead looks very very bronze like and it's a gelée formula I use my Tom Ford bronzing brush see how it kind of looks orange but when you apply it it just I don't know I feel like if you're a warm toned if you use something that's slightly orange it will look good it looks like a much more natural tan obviously if you're very cool and very fair or even just if you're very cool in general it doesn't matter if you're light or dark when you use something orangey, it looks like, it just looks like an artificial tan, whereas if you're warm, the tones kind of align better and it looks more natural. Lastly for the face, we have the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Global Glow. I feel like Andrew needs this. Um, I don't know if he like goes into this realm of like very natural looking highlighters though. I feel like he goes for things that kind of contrast more with his skin. like. He delves more into like the neutral to cool highlights, whereas the warm highlights he doesn't go for as much. I think it's because the looks he does um, are like more creative, so like that contrast looks really good. Where I'm always going for like this, let's look like skin kind of makeup. So this is MAC Global Glow. I've talked about this before, I just haven't shared it with you. It's one of those shades that I always think I can't wear um, until the summer because it like, do you see this? Like it's a very it's darker as a highlight so if you're medium dark super tan you will love this it is so pretty and I have it just on the heights of the cheekbones so you can see like it's really really natural it's not like a highlight per se it's definitely a 
skin glow kind of thing i love i love if you watch you always know i go for like i have one from galactic that kind of does the same thing i think i like this more than the galactic or maybe the tones are a little different the galactic has a little more cool tones to it but still i love the kind of like your skin but better highlighters is that a thing well i'm making it a thing it's my thing okay for the wow i feel like my hair is very big but also i'm kind of into it being big today yeah we're into it okay um, I keep dressing this shirt because it has like this thing that keeps popping out and I'm like I don't want that fabric to pop out. It's gross. It looks like the folds of your... Anyway, don't be gross. Okay, so brows. We have the Black Up Matte Waterproof Brow Gel in number two. And then we have Benefit, precisely my brow number six. Yes, this brow always looks darker because less light on this side. Okay, um, I feel like I get so sick of hearing myself say that, but like for anyone that just like randomly watches, I'm always, I don't want them to think, you know, I'm like bad at makeup, you know, cause like I'm okay with it. Like I'm much better than average, whatever. Oh my God, so weird. Also my nails don't, I know I haven't, I've meant to share this earlier. They're not done, they're chipped totally need to be done this is the year of me not caring about my nails like i i totally care and i am ashamed but i am not doing anything about it because i just don't have time um the burberry limited no just stop, stop reading random stuff on the thing it's the burberry eye color contour and this is in the shade midnight brown i have this as the base today we'll swatch it we'll, we'll swatch and then we'll show all the swatches at the end and then in the waterline tight line well very lightly in the waterline but mostly in the tight line and you blink and then it comes down right and then i kind of have it smudged into the lashes too so any kind of smokiness you see is this it's the mac costa Riche pencil i love cole kajal liners i need to go pick up the l'oreal the black and the brown i've been meaning to get those again i really like them in the crease we have bobby brown camel which we see a lot i haven't used it in a while so i used it today and then all over the lid, we have Mac Brown Script. And that's kind of smudged into the Coast of Reach, so it all looks kind of darker. Inner corner, we have Kat Von D Thunderstruck. This is such a gorgeous, I think everyone needs this in their collection. It's like the most pretty all over lid. You could use it as a highlight on your skin because it's so smooth. So that's the Burberry Midnight Brown, Mac Coast of Reach, Bobbi Brown Camel, Mac Brown Script, and Actually, I wonder if this is similar to the Kat Von D Lolita that just released. I'll have to double check and let you know. And then that's the Thunderstruck from Kat Von D. So it's a kind of a closer look at the makeup. That's what we have going on. I always feel like I should do a, I should use tape, you know? I use tape maybe once every three months and then I get bored of it. But I feel like I want to use tape because I look fine when i'm looking at myself straight on into a mirror or camera or whatever but i feel like when you go to the side my eye makeup looks a little smudgy and i like it most days but some days it's like too smudgy and i feel like it looks dirty and i need to like clean it up for eyeliner we have the sisley so intense eyeliner we love this it's so black i showed you in the last vlog how well it like applies compared to a lot of other eyeliners that i like and then i've also been loving i haven't shared this even though i've been loving it for like a month it's the fine line from sephora it's this teeny tiny baby felt tip liner and you know i like brush tips but it does such a great wing you have so much control so the top is the sephora and the bottom is the sisley the sisley is obviously darker and more matte Whereas the Sephora, I mean, it's really black on its own, but I just love that it's like a micro felt liner. Oh, that's so gross. What was that from? I feel like the lawn mowers are further away now. Good. I'm sorry if it was loud at all, if I like the camera picked it up. For the lips, lastly, NYX Soft Brown. Again, probably been using this very consistently for a month. I keep it in my purse a lot, so I haven't been able to like share it. I actually keep one in the office, one in my purse, one here because it's NYX, right? Easy, keep it everywhere. So this is the shade. This might be my favorite drugstore liner. I would say, think about what my favorite drugstore liner is, but I also really like ColourPop liners. But the shade selection, I like. I think I like the formula of the ColourPop liners a lot, but my favorite shades are more like this. This kind of peachy nude, maybe a slightly brown base. So something like this, 
um, MAC Strip Down is a super favorite. I think those might actually be really similar. Um, and then on the lips, we have the By Terry Gloss Terribly Shine in Spicy Crush. Do we need to even, I mean, do I have to say anything? It looks so good, right? And I have it tapped in, obviously. But yes, it is very holographic if you wear it full on. So there's a swatch um, and on the on the applicator, which I absolutely love. This is like the best applicator. All the glosses should come with this kind of applicator. You can see how like, kind of, how it can look very different depending on how the light hits it and how you wear it. And I think if you're cooler toned, you'll probably get more pink tones. On me, I get more like that peachy color. Love, love so much. Once again, we started off the video somewhere here and I end up like right here. Okay. I pretty much recovered from the concussion I gave myself yesterday. It was raining really hard and I don't know if I vlogged it. Did I vlog it? I might have, but if I cut it out because I look so stupid, um, yeah, I tried to get into the car. You know when you're like hiding from the rain, so you like become like 30% blind and uh, hit my head getting in the car and it hurts so bad. I feel like, have I not felt physical pain in all that long of a time? Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> Andrew just texted me. He just opened up the gifts. Is that so weird? I was just telling you guys about it. Okay. Um, he says I'm thoughtful, and I am. I put so much effort into gifts. I collect gifts over time like whenever i prepare i'm like patting my own back right now but like i'm really good at this like when i had sent ashley her gift she she like called me like and she's just like oh my god like every item she was just like she's like how do i have friends like this and i don't know i'm awesome <laughs> i'm like so happy now i like love gift giving it's like the best he's like i hate you you're so thoughtful with your gifts i'm like i know I know okay anyway now I'm in a good mood you know what the day of his birthday I have been okay I haven't been in like a really great mood like this whole year has just been like ugh, why is life sucking everything out of me it's like I know that um you know whatever we share in these vlogs is obviously what I choose to share none of it's like fake or put on but it's like obviously I'm not gonna share things everything about work I'm not gonna share things about family that's always like a no-go if you're like of those cultures you understand you don't share shit about your family you know you just don't it's just not common also these glasses I know I'm going off on tangents these glasses again the Mew Mews I love these so much two pairs in the black one pair in the red there's a pair of Bulgari glasses that I'm gonna link below there's like four four different colors anyone who has tried them let me know also because i know a lot of you guys buy the glasses that i suggest which means we have the same taste as sunglasses and we like certain shapes i'm gonna link them below tell me if you have tried them on or if they're good if you've seen them whatever so important to me like not even kidding you what were we talking about before i really needed to ask for help with sunglasses I think it's gift giving, but now I don't know where I was going with that conversation. I feel so accomplished already. It's so early in the morning because I share my makeup with you. I feel like I haven't done that in so long. And then this weekend, the plans are Columbus on Friday. No, Columbus on Saturday uh, for Father's Day because whatever, I'll explain that when that happens. And then I kind of want to go to Whole Foods, guys. I really want to go. I know I've talked about it before, but it's like in the opposite direction of Trader Joe's. I think it's equidistant, but I there's nothing there really by the Whole Foods besides the Whole Foods, and I don't like driving really far for things if um, I'm driving just for one place, you know? I feel like every time your hair goes past nipple length you need to reconsider you need to think about is this what I want is this okay because once it gets really long it's harder to manage it doesn't look as healthy um etc etc so I kind of want to go shorter but I don't know what kind of a cut I want because here's the thing every time I cut my hair shorter 
and I haven't done it obviously lately in the past like few years but every time I've ever cut my hair short I like within a few days want it long again like I want it I just think it looks feminine it looks prettier okay so at the beginning of this vlog I showed you guys this like zucchini and corn thing right so I wanted to show you what I've been having with it for lunch this week when I have it cold I use this this stuff is so good if you are going to Costco grab it if you love avocados if you like tomatillo this is delicious let me see if I can ah, there we go you can see it better so good have with chips marinate stuff with it oh my god so good okay so if I heat this up in the microwave and have it hot then I apply this rice seasoning to it I've showed you this before in like a probably a Asian grocery haul but you have seaweed sesame salt sugar it is so good so so obviously when I made this it's just has like pepper and then like a little bit of avocado oil when I had like kind of what do you call it saute it a little bit just to have it as a base and just I've been just adding whatever you know those two things over the course of the week this doesn't look like very much let me show you this way yeah there you go it's like a lot more it's not like a tiny bit of food plus it's like really filling okay good morning I don't know how much we filmed this week for this vlog, but I'm just gonna add this little bit just in case there's like not enough. So I guess this segment is, has now become called purchases and PR. So it's like things I got in the mail, things I bought. Okay, this is something I bought that I probably should have shared with you like much earlier in the week. I just, I don't know, I didn't have time. <laughs> and I wanted to share it with you when I bought it, but we are clearly about almost done with it. It is the Cosmos Creations. It's the cheddar and pepper puffed corn. I started paying attention to this brand because Andrew had showed their 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 caramel corn in his video and it's one thing when he will mention something in a video but it's a whole other thing when we will text about things in our vlogs to each other it means like you really should have paid attention to this so um, I started looking for this brand and I found this at TJ Maxx for $2.99 this is so good like this is like my ideal flavor combination something that has cheese i.e. cheddar or gouda gouda is also a great alternative to that and pepper it is so good I'm almost done with it we'll probably finish it after I'm done filming this clip uh, I actually was at Costco when I was telling you guys about that mini fridge, but I didn't look for snacks. So maybe the, the caramel corn was there and I just didn't get it. Okay, how cute, right? So this is, I don't know what you call it. I'm sure there's like a name for this kind of container, um, but it was five bucks at TJ Maxx and it has like, you know, a flat end so you can set it this way or a flat end so you can set it that way. But if this will focus just a little bit, you'll see it has like a little bit like a marbleized I mean, I think it feels kind of like porcelain. $5 and this part is gold and you can just, I'm not gonna unpop it right now just cause I just did my nails and I don't feel like doing that. But, uh, so cute, right? I don't know what I'm putting in it yet, but I'm very in love with it. Okay, might as well go into this too. This is from TJ Maxx Online. Remember when I showed you guys that I had picked up the Bosha uh, blotting papers for, these are what, $10 retail like Sephora. Sometimes they go to five or $6. But I found them at TJ Maxx for $2.99 once and I found only two. And I remember when I had posted that video, a lot of you guys were like, I went to my TJ Maxx and I found some. They were on the internet. They were on TJMaxx.com. I picked up 10. I got five for me and I got five for my mom because like, you know, these have become like a go-to blotting paper. So if they're still on the website, I will link them below. Next is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian, oh, Brazilian Foreplay. I thought it was just Brazilian play. I guess I didn't read it properly. Moisturizing shower cream gel and their pistachio caramel scent. This smells so good. I mean, anyone that reviews Sol de Janeiro, oh my god, everything smells so good, blah, blah, blah. But it's true. That's why everyone says it. And even people who I, I mean, I've seen these in a lot of people's videos reviewing various products from their line. And these people all enjoy different scent profiles from me. Or some are similar, but you know what I mean? Everyone. It's like very universal. Everyone loves these scents. So I think if you have tried the Boom Boom Cream, in comparison, the Boom Boom Cream smells a little more... It's stronger. I think it's heavier on maybe the caramel and this is heavier on the pistachio. Uh, this is also a shower gel. So when you, you use it, it, the smell kind of, it dissipates more because it's in the air. Your bathroom will also smell great. Um, so if you have this in the shower and then you put your cream on afterwards, you're gonna smell so good because that cream in itself, if you put it on at night, next morning you wake up, you'll smell that on you the rest of the day. People will smell it, but it's never, Excuse me, it's never overpowering. It's just, it just smells, it's so happy and vacation-y. Uh, 
I mean, I don't know what else to say. It's so good. Um, I do think I would like to see some kind of body highlighter scented this way, some kind of body oil, dry oil. Um, I'm also going to second Andrew's request, which is like, please come out with things like candles and home products, reed diffusers, anything, those little pocket satchel things you put in your drawers. Oh my God, I would just love it. Like, okay, I picked up the Urban Decay perfume oil. Um, what is this scent even called? Is it called Go Naked? I think it is. I think it's just called Go Naked. Okay, so I picked this up because everyone's like, it smells like Neroli Portofino from Tom Ford. If you are someone that likes that scent, and it is a, it has a cult following. People who like that scent tend to kind of perk up when they hear that something smells similar to it. This is an oil. I have, I don't have the perfume, but I have, I subsist on samples, so I have a lot of the samples. So when I received this, I put the Urban Decay Go Naked on this side and I put the Tom Ford and Rilla Portofino on this side and I just kind of like wandered around for the rest of the day. If you like Tom Ford and Rilla Portofino, you would like the Urban Decay Go Naked. However, I think the Urban Decay one is heavier on the citrus element and the Tom Ford is heavier on the Neroli kind of bergamot side of things. Um, I think that the Urban Decay lasts longer, but I prefer the depth of the Tom Ford. And I'm trying not to make this a negative review because I'm probably going to return this because I don't really... I just think it's stronger from the citrus side and I... It almost smells like a cleaning agent to me. It really is personal preference because you know how like smells smell different to different people and then they also smell different on different people? So for example, something like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. I love that scent, but to a lot of people, the citrus in it smells like something you clean with. So for me, this doesn't smell bad at all. I just prefer the Tom Ford. I mean, obviously there's a huge price difference, but um, this does last longer. The, the, the huge issue and the huge weakness of the Tom Ford is that it doesn't last long. Now, if you guys have tried other things and like other products in that lineup, i.e. maybe the body spray or the oil or anything else, let me know if anything else from the Tom Ford Neroli Portofino line does last longer because then I would totally be interested in that. Lastly, I got this package in the mail and <laughs> this is so weird. Luckily, I didn't film this yesterday because whatever, I'm so stupid. So usually when you get sent PR, um, usually you know it's coming, um, but sometimes you get something in the mail and you get like some kind of printout that tells you about the product and you know, this. So I haven't even opened it yet because I thought it was PR, so I figured I'd just like save it for this session segment of the vlog. And I get a text from my friend and she's like, oh, did you get my, I was like, oh my God, it was a gift. Thank God I didn't already film this. I would feel so stupid, but let's open it together anyways. Um, it's from Zents. I've never heard of this brand, but look how pretty, right? So this little sheet I got, it says it's a body polish. And I was like, this is really heavy for a body polish, but let's just see, I'm kind of excited. This packaging really is so adorable. Okay, here's the, oh, okay, we'll just go for whatever we feel first. This is Luminous Cashmere Body Oil with Organic Coconut and Passion Flower. Ooh. Ore. Or is it, is that the scent called Ore? Euphoric and Sexy Bay Laurel Oris Ylang Ylang. How do you pronounce that word? I have no idea. Clove and Black Pepper. Okay, had to change the battery, but did I say clove and black pepper on top of that? Okay, so it's an oil spray, organic coconut, organic passion flower, vegan, gluten-free, cruelty-free, no parabens, sulfates, dyes, etc. Made in Denver, Colorado. Okay, let's just smell it. Oh my god, that smells really good. I'm gonna spray that. <laughs> I'm gonna spray it on. Hold on. Hold on. I hope this doesn't prevent me from being able to open other things, but... Oh my god, this does smell really good. It smells really luxe, obviously. It smells like a spa body polish. Okay, still haven't hit that yet. <laughs> this is... Okay, let's see. Okay, th oh, this is the body polish. Okay, it's unscented, and we have... Sugar, salt, organic shea, and flower essences. Oh my god, it is completely unscented. Like all, I can smell sugar a little bit but that's really it. So that will be nice for like the elbows and the feet. Paper. Ooh. Ooh, oh, okay. Hold on, heavy. 
This is also ore. Maybe this maybe the scent is called ore. This has bay laurel, clove, orris, and jasmine. Oh, this is a body. Oh, this is a soak. Oh my god, I've never used a soak before, guys. Excited. Oh, this smells so good. These layer are gonna layer so nice together. I'm gonna smell so like rich. I saw something else floating in here. Okay. Oh, this is their perfume, the Eau de Toilette. I think this is, okay, this has Bay Laurel Oris and that Ylang, Ylang. I really need to learn how to pronounce it. Okay, that's so exciting. Oh my God, that's so cute. I need this. I wonder if she sent it because I need it because I've been like, you know, work, so stressed out lately. Like, this is like relaxing. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, thanks, Ashley. 